A massive game, too, in the Garden tonight between the Knicks and the 76ers. There's still some questions, right, about how Joel Embiid is going to look after that injury scare in game one. It was an unbelievable play from Joel. He went up, threw the ball off the backboard to himself, but then you can see he lands his left leg. He crumples to the ground in pain. He left the game, but he did return in the second half. He had a huge impact, though, right, for the 76ers. He told our Lisa Salters he came into the game at, like, 70 80% health. But he played 36 minutes, and the Sixers had a plus 14 in those minutes. But when he was off the court, they were outscored by 21 per points. And that is when Big Perk spied something. I'm Kendrick Perkins, better known as Big Perk. And nothing gets past me. Freeze! Just when you thought it did get past me, there I am. I spy a problem. I spy it all. Carry the hell on. It's the best part of the NBA season, the playoffs. One, you get to see me, this 6'10 version, 300-pound version of Morris Chestnut. But it's playoff basketball, okay? And look, I'm watching everything, especially my two favorite players, Big Body Bronson and Joel Embiid. I saw something. I got my eyes on the game. And it's the big fella, Joel Embiid. This the first, this the first half. Now some can say he should be on the floor. I think different, but he's still dominant. Uh, and one posting up Isaiah Hardenstein doing his work. This is where he's so gifted, getting into his bag. I think this could have been a dunk of the season right here. But what happened? This is his first dunk since returning from injury, and he goes down. I don't want to make eye contact with him because I get crazy. In the first half, he had 18 <laughs> points. What? Second half, he had 11 points. He was two for 11 in the second half. And look at the average dip distance. He started stretching out a little bit more. You know why? Because he can't move. And when I think about Joel Embiid and I'm watching this game, take a look at these clips in the second half. Right here, just settling for the three-point shot. He had the lane. He could have made a move. And it was way off. And you could see him favoring this knee. Right? Look right here. He wants Tyrese Maxey to come get the ball, but he can't get it to him. What does he have to do? He has to settle with a great contest by Mitchell Robinson. This is even more staggering. Yes, at my size and my weight, I probably could beat him in running right now. Three miles per hour sprint Damn speed lie. in game one versus the Knicks. Slowest in NBA any game this season. He has been the slowest player in the league since returning from injury. It's just not a good sign. It's maybe a great sign for the Knicks. Again, I'm the one that's been lobbying for him to sit out. But since he's playing, damn it, I applaud him for even being out there. What's your mile time? Perk? I want to see his sprint perk, like, from here to there. Don't I was test just going, me. I was just going, Don't I test just me. Group let, me let me tell y'all something. Wow. Let me tell, Fonda? Hold on. Let me yeah. tell y'all something real quick. I can't wait. I was with the Pelicans. One of the trainers, they tried to call me out on racing, right? I betted him 1500 his 1500 to my 10000 and we set up a race two weeks, and I smoked him. And everybody was like, oh, Perk, let him off the hook. He don't make him pay. I was like, hell nah, you shouldn't have came messing with him. Pounds. It don't matter. It don't matter. You don't lose it. I'm an athlete. All right, we all athlete. know we're going to be watching whenever this race goes down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to